be with us. It's so fun to be in New York City. Well, we love having you here. I have to say, one other thing that's fun, you, you showed us in a break, you showed us these shoes. I don't know if Pete can get a Woo! shot of these shoes. These little boys have tennis shoes that light up. I was I just going to say. grown women should have platforms that light up. You have your little guys on tour with you, too, right? I do, and they're going to love these shoes. They must. Yeah. Are they going to try to steal them? It's, I hope it, not. It could happen. That would scare me. <laughs> That's setting a bad precedent, I think, at an early age. It must be a totally different experience as you're touring for this album, though, to have your little guys with you, because they're, what, three in just a few months, right? Uh, almost, yeah, two months and three years old. It's, uh, you know, it's a family affair. <laughs> it's a family affair. Um, yeah, it's, everything's new. I have a new band. I have a new record. Um, I'm wearing a new dress. And um, I, have new, I have new kids. I have one very new, yes. fresh out of the packaging. So it's, it's great. It's fun. It's exciting and keeps everything real. You know? And great to be able to bring them with you. Your new album, 100 Miles from Memphis, actually references when, when you were a kid, because you were hearing music coming from 100 Miles Away, out of yeah. Memphis, a little soul. Kind of new for, for some folks that are listening to this album. Maybe not the Cheryl Crow they're used to, but it is fantastic. Thank you. We're, we're loving playing it. We can't wait to actually be out on the road, and we're going to be out all summer. And... Um, it's great for me because it's 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 all the music that I grew up listening to and loving. And every album I've done has had a little bit of something on it, like um, Now That You're Gone on the Last Record and My Favorite Mistake, obviously, and Hard to Make a Stand. I've, I've always had rec records on every album that were, you know, a slightly R&B tinge. So right. this is fully committed all the way there.